Hey guys, so I've been sketching cats. I have an upcoming project that I have to draw a ton of cats and paint them. So I'm trying to get into the sketching of cats and doing cat gestures um, to get the form and the flow through the cats properly because cats are a very um, gestural creature. They have interesting forms and if you draw them wrong, it is very noticeable, but if you draw them right, it they are quite fun to draw. So I'm trying to find some interesting looking cats. Um, I've been looking on YouTube for videos on drawing um, cats, and I just, I haven't found anything. Like... I found a, a ton of videos on rendering cats, but none of them really go into the gestural quality, like, and like sketching like, of animals and stuff. So it's it's quite frustrating because when you're trying to learn to draw, you want to draw from life and you want to do as many sketches as you can, so it becomes almost second nature to you. And you put down the pencil, and then you can look at your reference or whatever. Um, and draw and like do your finished drawings like for the markings and stuff for whatever animal you're drawing but to get the pose down and the gesture there's not a lot of videos that do that so this is my mini little semi how to draw cat tutorial video oh god Okay, so I'll get a nice sitting pose here. So for the first thing that I think about when I'm attempting to draw anything is the proportions and the main shapes. So cats are about four heads high. So what that means is the shape of the head is your um, your measuring point and then you just kind of build it out from there again you want to measure yourself like how big the cat is compared to their head um, their ears how high they are because different breeds will have different characteristics right so you really want to make some measurements so the chest portion of the cat is like very prominent and then about so that's like the neck and chest and then from the bottom portion so about halfway down the cat is when the legs will start when they're sitting up like this and they usually taper inwards and that is because cats have a rotary motion in their paws in their front paws especially um, that they use for swiping and that's why like you'll see lions and everything their paws are almost and they walk they're in so and then the body will stick out the back and the back foot will just be like a little plop over here part of the body part of the back leg part of the foot now when we go up here You've got the ears, which come down about halfway, the bottom of the chin. Ears come in. Yeah, so the nose is, let's see, this is the top. It's about three quarters of the way down the cat face. The eyes will sit on the half line, but they will kind of like be between these ear point drops. And they will sit on the outside of the nose. Oh, 
kind of drops down a tiny bit, and then the, um, I guess the cat lips will come kind of out to the side of the eye, so you'll have this, it might be a little bit tapered in more than I have them here, they're quite large. You can get a basic cat face that way and then just kind of bring it in and then put the fluffy fur and just kind of build your details in around. If you have to make adjustments, do it. I'm using Pencil Crown right now, so I can't make adjustments to anything, but that was by design because I want to do as many sketches as possible. Let's do a fluffy tail at the back. So there's that. Oh, that's another big cat. So, my next one looks like it's a hairless cat, or it's been shaved, but it has like the really high ears, which are almost the same size as the skull. So, we'll go like that, and then we put the ears out. And then from there, we're looking at the generalized shapes. So. When you look at a cat from the side or like a three quarter front view, they've got like the front kind of portion where like the shoulder girdle is and then they have like the back portion of them, which kind of like creates this bean shape. And then their back leg comes in, front legs are turned in. They're quite compact little creatures. My cat is a giant bowl of jello. We got her from the uh, Humane Society, and she was overweight when we got her, so we've been, we put her on a weight management diet, and she's been losing a bit of weight on that. And we've separated out her feeding schedule, so we'll give her like a quarter cup in the morning, and um, a quarter cup when we get home, and then like, it's a, a total of one cup of food, so then she gets like half a cup uh, before bed so that she can eat like throughout the night. And she's been leaving food in her bowl, which is good, so she's not eating as much anymore. And then she's, um, she gets mush as well when we get home, so. But she's been slimming down, which is nice. But I can't draw, like, anatomy on my cat, because she is so fat. She's just, like, this little butterball. Eventually, hopefully, I will be able to. But anyways, as I'm talking about my cat, I'm not actually telling you about the drawing here. So, I'm looking at this, um, image of a cat here, this hairless type cat. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting the lines right. That's one of the other things is you want to look at the curves and like the basic shapes and how they, because they will overlap and they will kind of like give you these really nice forms and lines to follow. So this guy's got huge ears, like major ears happening here. And his little head, his nose is down here. This is one where my little measurement system doesn't work. See, this is why like, I have such a hard time with animals, is that you find a measuring system that you think works, pardon me, and then you realize it doesn't work at all with a different breed. So you've got to kind of create and use your observation skills, oh no, to be able to find the right proportions for the animal that you're drawing.
guys think this video is kind of long enough. But hopefully this gives you an idea on how to draw cats. A little idea. I will do some more um, sketches. I'm planning on doing about a hundred cat drawings. If you want to learn how to draw something, draw it 100 times. That is pretty much the best way of how to do that. And I know it sounds excessive, but it has to be done. Anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions on this video or would like me to try and tackle a different animal that you yourself are having trouble with, I will probably have trouble with it as well. So if you want me to break down different steps on doing different uh, types of animals, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I, I think this Friday I might do a live stream, so that could be in the works. Um, I'll probably have to do it at home, but that's fine. So I will do a live stream and then you guys can chatter at me while I sketch, which will be fun. Anyways, I will chatter at you guys later, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Bye guys!